with me just to discuss that and the outlook also for the next couple of weeks is Fabienne Keller. She is the, uh, the, finance, the vice president of the Finance Commission in the French Senate. She's also a member of Mr Sarkozy's party. Welcome and Hello. thank you for coming. I know it's cold. <laughs> Uh, but the sun is about to come out. But tell me, last night was quite a, a, a quite a, a big surprise to see how many votes did go for Marine Le Pen. Yes, of course. How do you uh, account for so many votes going to her? We don't know. <laughs> really, it's difficult to explain. But uh, you know, the French people decided and gave 18 percent to Mrs. Le Pen <laughs> with totally unrealistic proposals on the uh, economic uh, questions, I mean, for she's example. Eco economically, she's talking about an exit from the Eurozone. Yes. Unacceptable, really, on a European level. And willing to isolate totally France in terms of uh, commercial exchanges and uh, employment. So it's uh, probably the questions she points are really very important for the French people, but the solutions are totally uh, impossible to apply. And so what, the, what is the concern? Because for me it's a surprise to see France go quite far towards the right like that, given the fact that what you've got unemployment is at 14 or a year high or 12 year high, but it's not the same situation that we see in other countries of Europe at the moment. We have really clearly uh, a lot of French people are suffering. Uh, the high level of votes on the far right, but also on the far left, even though Mr. Mélenchon made only 12%, it's a very high level. And we heard the International <laughs> yesterday yes. night, which is, you know, a surprise in Europe. Uh, so the fact people would vote for very far parties show they are desperate. Well, then so the issue for, for the candidates now is to talk to those people and try to address directly solutions, proposals but, and a project. But we've seen Mr Sarkozy already evoking um, an anti-immigration stance last night and at the, at, the, at, the, at the rally. He's also talking about the risk of jobs going offshore. Now, as a member of Mr Sarkozy's party, how concerned are you that he's going to have to go hunting among these supporters? For May I say that um, he's not hunting Mrs Le Pen or Mr Bayrou. He is talking to French voters. Uh, of course, as a centrist of the UMP party, I am a little worried with uh, far-right uh, thesis, but I'm sure Mr. Sarkozy is not sharing this. UMP is not willing to discuss with uh, Mrs. Le Pen. Not, it's not in question, but the issue is to talk with people who, whose situation is so difficult that they decided to vote for this candidate. Well, one of the one of the concerns that obviously is coming out is concerns about the the, the, the direction of the French economy and also the direction of growth. Monsieur Sarkozy is uh, advocating a, 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 a really a, a more of an austerity campaign than the one that we see. But even his uh, his budget deficit targets seem to be based on quite optimistic outlooks for growth. What happens if his uh, outlook for economic growth is too high? How can he change those targets? Very correct you. I don't think he's based on austerity. Mm -hmm. He's trying to build this very difficult path of balanced between uh, rigorous budgetary uh, management on one hand and growth on the other. Because if we have low employment, we won't have as high taxes as expected and the budgetary deficit will grow uh, in turn. So the issue for him is to build this balance, which is very responsible. May I say that Mr. Hollande pushed one year forward the, uh, the date only uh, 2017, where he is aiming at a balance of the French deficit. As you may know, mm -hmm. the French deficit is so high. And we all have to, in Europe, to have very um, responsible strategies in terms of public expenditure. I am a little worried seeing that Mr. Mélenchon, uh, working with Mr. Hollande, is asking for higher wages more public expenses. Although Mr. Uh, Mélenchon uh, didn't quite get quite, quite so much of the vote, he was somewhat disappointing, but it does look as if we're going to have to move back towards uh, talking more about growth and a little less about austerity. Fabian Keller, That's thank clear. you so much indeed for coming to speak to us here in Paris.